Hi, my name is Murphy Fuller. I'm a general marketing assistant here at Ruinua by Anderson. I get to work with lead aggregators, newspapers, and marketing, and I uh, have a lot of fun checking out magazines and, and figuring out where we should advertise. But when I'm not at work, I really enjoy doing artwork. I've been doing art for probably three or four years now. Uh, most of my pieces take about 40 to 60 hours. And I, I really love doing black and white art. One of the main reasons is I have a hard time picking colors, but when I stare at white, I kind of see all the colors at once anyways. I really like mandalas. I find that they're kind of a peaceful meditation practice. And I also like anatomy, so I do hands a lot. I find them very meditative to draw in general. I started it after it was suggested that I do journaling, which I never really enjoyed doing, but I enjoyed the pen to paper work. So I continued with that and I drew mandalas and things like that along with my breathing meditations to try to help my own anxiety. I really like to draw the light at the end of the tunnel. It's sort of like if I zone out at, a, at the wall, that space in between the wall and, and you where you're actually looking, I kind of draw that. And I always feel like uh, I'm drawing hands, trying to point out the, the things that I don't normally see that are not apparent to everybody. So I also like to do what's called live art, and uh, I'll go to shows like EDM shows, electronica shows, and things like that, and I'll work on a light board at the event. First few times I did that, it really threw me off. The music shaking the board and the pen was uh, really something that was hard to get used to. So these are some of an example of some of the mandalas I work on. Um, you can kind of see like the light at the end of the tunnel kind of feel. Um, I work on depth much more than color. Um, so it, it goes deeper or it pops out to you, it's kind of up to you. I think creativity and spirituality are very uh, intertwined and I think that if you talk to anybody else in the company that also expresses themselves creatively, whether it's through music or anything like that, that they all have kind of a, a spilling over of, of the unexplainable that comes out of us.